So today we're heading out with a Nikon F3 and we're going to be shooting on the Porte 800 uh, ISO which is uh, from Kodak. Uh, it's the first time shooting on the Nikon F3 and it's the first time shooting any color with the Nikon. So I'm going to go out and, and just see see what it's see what it's about. Uh, the lighting is pretty good today. There's some overcast and stuff like that, but I'm fairly excited to see how it goes. I think the focusing is probably going to be one of the biggest tricks. I did do a vlog about this the other day, but we'll We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Let's go shoot. Okay, so the shot that I'm going to go for here is I've got the shot the shot before on digital, but as you can see, there's like a reflection, a mirror up there. So I'm going to kind of get I'm going to have this wall on the right hand side of the frame. I'm going to shoot it in portrait and kind of have one subject kind of on the left hand side of the frame where they're walking into that like mirror. So I'm just going to get the shot now. Sick. Done. Okay, that was shot at 60th of a second, f3.5, and then obviously the ISO is at 400. So the ISO of the uh, film is 800, but like I said earlier, I'm shooting it at 400. In the last film POV that I did, you guys said that, well, there's a couple of you that said that I missed a shot with this frame here. So I've come back to get the shot, but in color, there's a dude that's just about to walk into frame. I'm gonna take it in landscape. Everything's all set to go. Got the focus smashed it bam one and done okay so obviously you can see that i'm not entirely sure if i got the focus nailed i think the focus was the focus was actually um on the background rather than the guy walking through the frame but i think it i think that's okay um it was shot on 3.5 f 3.5 um and i don't actually remember what the shutter speed was was for that sorry um i assume it'd be roughly around T50. Okay, so we're walking down towards Piccadilly and then we're gonna cut back into Soho. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of a bus driver. It should be quite cool on film, but we'll see how it goes. So portrait. I'm gonna get the focus. Sweet, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one more because I think I didn't get the focus. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah. I think I slightly missed the focus on that. Um, that was shot at 250th of a second, f3.5, and the ISO is obviously at 400. Okay, so frame is kind of shooting through the bars here towards that dude on the other side. Uh, that was at 250th of a second, f3.5. And I think I nailed the focus. Okay, so I've set the focus on the floor. Okay, so where I want the focus, I've set the focus on the floor. So I kind of want the subject to be walking through the frame, the central cinema sign in the background. And I shouldn't have to wait too long because it's quite a busy passageway. So fingers crossed, it works out quite quickly. I'm gonna hold it up to my eye to obviously get the shot. I'm gonna shoot it in portrait, I think, or landscape, no, I'll go portrait. Sweet. Okay, that was at, because it's quite dark in here, that was at 30 of a second and I'm still at F8. Ah, idiot. So the other one was at F8 as well. So I'm gonna have to get that shot again because that's gonna be too dark. Look, you know what? It's a learning process and we'll leave it. We'll, we'll just accept, we'll accept that. It's a learning process. So that was F8, six of a second. So that means that the subject moving through the frame would have been slightly blurry because of, it might not have, it might have caught it at the right time, but who knows? I mean, you guys know, I don't, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so the next shot that I'm gonna go for is here. As you can see, there's nice, like, like a nice pocket of light here. Make sure it's wound on. We're at 3.5, everything's good to go. Now I'm just gonna wait for someone to walk into that frame, really. Make sure I get the focus. I think, I think I got that focus good. It's, again, really difficult to like nail this focus, but nonetheless, I think it worked out pretty good. Okay, so you've got some nice light in here and you've got this, I don't even know what it is. What is this thing? You've got this like spire thing. It's off, it's off Oxford Street. So if I come back a little bit, because I think 28th so we too punched in where I was. That's quite nice. We can get someone in that frame. So I think I'm going to have to come over a bit more. 
because I don't want my lamp post in it. Wait for this dude to walk in a bit closer. I'm gonna make sure I don't get run over as well. Oh, there's a taxi. That'll do. Okay, sweet. That'll do. I'm basically chasing the light at the moment to try and get the right shots. Um, that was at. That was 2,000th of a second, f3.5. Um, but I think, it, yeah, I think it's going all right. I think it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. It's, it's, when you're trying to learn something new, it's completely about the process that you're, um, that you're going through. Like you have to make those tiny little mistakes so you can adjust it next time. It's just the difference between digital and film is you have to go through a whole film in order to realize your mistakes to be able to do it. So the longevity of that process is obviously much longer than what it would be with digital because you get that straight away as soon as you take a photo uh, as soon as you take a photo with digital you look at the back of the camera and you're like oh well that's shit i'll take it again and i'll change those settings you don't obviously get that luxury with film which i actually quite like okay let me get a shot of this dude here fixing his car in landscape I'm gonna get the uh the focus on the car and then just wait for this car in front of me to move. I've just realized I'm being a bit too, um, I've fallen into that bracket where um, I'm being too conservative with the film. Now, what I mean by that is I'm taking my time too much because I'm thinking, oh, I've only got X amount of shots. I've still got 20 shots left to take. So I'm gonna be fairly quick about getting the next 20 because I feel like I don't need to overthink it too much. And I think sometimes when you progress into film, you do end up thinking about about it a little bit too much and I think that's a trap that I was kind of falling into and I'm glad I recognized it now because I don't want to you know I think you can learn but you learn by doing and, and I think the longer you procrastinate and think about what you're trying to shoot and what you're trying to do I think that's obviously an element of it but I think the more you try to overthink things then obviously the uh, the worse the outcome Okay, so I like this building over here. Um, I'm actually going to go into 80 mil and just get the corner. Just wait for one person to walk through that frame. Should be this dude. Aha, I made the mistake of not fucking winding it on. What an idiot. Oh well. So we're going to use the blue, the blue rectangle as kind of a frame. There you go, I've got a cyclist in there. So I was using the blue rectangle as a frame and uh, we shall move on onto Oxford Street, I think. Okay, so there's a, a vans off the wall kind of sign here. Well, uh, what do you call it? Uh, billboard. So if I go to the other side of the road and then shoot back towards it at 80 mil, I think it would look quite cool. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Actually, I think that shot could be a little bit better. I'm going to take the same shot, but I'm going to I'm going to la I'm going to portrait it. So I'm going to get the bike in the foreground bam that'll do nice moving on okay again trying not to overthink these shots trying just to be in the process trying to get quick at doing it trying to pull that focus nice and quick and that's kind of the point okay so quite a cool shot here uh, i'll explain in a minute but we'll get it we'll get the shot and then we'll explain so f3.5 no, gonna get the focus on the sign bam there we go so essentially, okay, so I came this way because there was like a pocket of light. And then just as I, w I arrived in that location, there was a dude in like high vis and uh, safety helmet on, which looked quite cool. Uh, that was, let's look at the light again. That was uh, F3.5, 2,000th of a second. Uh, it's good, it's good to, Kind of like eradicate that idea of trying to take my time and just just using the film that i have um which also really handy is over here on the right hand side gives you a little countdown so you don't have to like remember how many shots you've got left it does that for you and that's quite common on film cameras um i'm just saying that for people that may not have any idea about film cameras um also again this is only i think my third time out shooting with a film camera and shooting on film so again be nice and uh, don't expect too much from me. I'm still learning. This one, there's a dude on the other side. I'm gonna shoot this in landscape. I'm gonna put it at 80 and then shoot through. Just use the wall as a reference. Shoot through the taxi. 
Bam. I really hope that came out. Uh, it was at 250th of a second f3.5. Um, and the way that I got the focus then was I was focusing on the wall. The dude was leaning against the wall. Um, and then I kind of judged it from that using that circle in the viewfinder. Okay, so the shot I'm going for here is you've got the coaching horses on the other side, which is a kind of like a traditional old pub here in London. And the shot that I want is, let's go parallel to it. And I kind of want just one person in this frame and then maybe them on the right hand side. So the frame that I can get in here is if I have the, I have the building square in the middle and then I've got like the left part of the like driveway there and then the road there as well. Maybe with the taxi? No. Yeah, so what I want is I want one person in that road over there. That's it, that's the shot I want. But being that it's getting to the time when people start going home, it's quite busy. So, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. We're gonna take it anyway, we're gonna take it. Bam, we'll take that, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Moving on, up towards the Mayfair area. So I don't normally take photos of Eurises because I feel like they're kind of a little bit, not not standard, but I, I mean, I like Lamborghinis, but we'll get the shot anyway. Um, so I think I might try and use this as a reflection. We'll get the focus. I think we'll have it at 40 mil. And we're gonna get down, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get, I will be able to get down, but actually eye it up properly. But that's essentially where the shot's gonna be. I'll try, but I don't look like a, an idiot. Oh, well, I mean, I already look like an idiot, but. It's pulling focus now. Okay. Well, that was a thousandth of a second F3.5. I don't know if it worked. Maybe we should get one just kind of plain like this. I think it'd look nicer if it was like, if there was like an empty background. This is also really nice. To be honest, I'd probably rather this, but I was, I looked at this and getting a shot of it, but there's the range directly behind it, which kind of ruins the shot, to be honest with you. Cause it's so close. I can't really, I can't really hide it unless I go like here. We'll move the mask out of the way. Bloody masks have become the virus themselves. So we'll go, we'll kind of face down towards it and we'll get the focus on the front end of the Porsche. Like so, 500th of a second, wind it on. Taking it in portrait mode to try and hide the, uh, the Range Rover in the background. There you go. And maybe if we come to the front right of the car, and get down, we'll get another one. We'll get it in landscape this time. So 500th of a second, F3.5. Uh, I've got it up to my eye to take it in landscape. And we'll try and get the Eurus in the background as well. Nice. I'll take that. Hopefully the colors of, of the, the film will bring out that that blue on the Porsche. Um, I did quite like that blue. Would you call it blue? Is it closer to blue than it is teal? Teal, blue, green, you know what I mean. There's a nice kind of like, I wouldn't say leading line, but very symmetrical shot I almost, apart from the benches are only on the right hand side. But I'm gonna focus on like the, uh, the monument down the end. And you've got this dude on the right hand side here reading his book. I'm gonna shoot it in landscape. Uh, it's at 500th of a second, f3.5. Nice. How many have we got left now? We've got uh, just over 10 left. I think we're on about 13 left now. It's so, it, like, it's so sick. Like I'm out with a 40 year old camera. 40. This camera's 40 years old. Like let that sink in. I'm 28 and this camera is 40 years old. This camera's seen more and probably done more than I have. I mean, that's maybe not because I've done a lot for my age, but you get the point. It's an old camera and it's 
it's awesome. Like it's amazing to be able to use something like this. I'm on Oxford Street and there's all these different like patterns on the side of Selfridges, which I think would be quite cool to use. Uh, so this one's definitely cool. I'm thinking maybe if I got someone's like head in the center of that square. That was perfect. So literally someone, let's go look. Mm, like that, that'll work. And then I want to get one on this one as well. The only downside to this one is the tree. Um, I think I probably have to be here to get the shot. Come to the left a bit. And then just waiting literally for one person to be in the frame and I should be good. I don't want it too crowded because if there's like loads of people in the frame, kind of just, I don't know, it just makes the frame look really, really messy. I'm going to focus on the ground to get the focus roughly where I want someone to be. Mm, line it all up and now just wait really. Sweet. I think that'll be good. Maybe if we should kind of shoot directly through at 80. Make sure the focus is in point. Oh, it's so difficult to line up. How do I even do this? This is so, this is such a learning curve for me. Okay, I think I've got it. Sweet. As he looked at me. <laughs> Great shot. Um, so that was at, oh God, what was that? Uh, it was about 500th of a second, f3.5. So I'm gonna get a shot here nice and quick, at 80. Oh, I don't know if I got that. I mean, I've, I had to be very quick to be able to get the focus because the dude was just about to move, but it was a guy on his phone. Just love the setting, love, love what he's wearing and thought it looked pretty cool. But again, focus is quite hard to get. So there's a shot that I've got in a previous POV that I've done um, with this kind of walkway. And I've always thought about shooting it with a film. And, oh, that is good timing. Got to do with some packages going through the frame. I think it's gonna be, yeah, I think probably 28 mil. Yeah, yeah good, you? Good. Yeah, I'll go further back and I'll go portrait. too slow way too slow okay so the shot that i want is this kind of like archway here in portrait mode someone walking through the frame i'll try and get the focus as close to the people as i can i'm just trying to use the floor as a gauge and i'm just going to wait for a single person to walk through the frame essentially uh 250th of a second f 3.5 and i want a nice clean frame with one person Sweet, done. Oh, last time when I was uh, doing the last video where I wanted to get that shot, it actually took me like 15 minutes waiting to get the shot. Undoubtedly, I'm gonna get some questions about this strap. So I'll leave a link to this strap down in the description. It's just off Amazon, it's quite cheap, fairly cheap, and uh, it'll also work on your digital camera, and I quite like it. It's a little bit elasticy, which is nice. It's a good little, uh, good little fit, so I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Now, we're gonna jump into the hashtag in a moment or two, but there was uh, three or four photos that I didn't get with the GoPro because I, I realized when I went to go and drop off the film to get it developed, I hadn't shot everything. So here are those photos, they've been on the screen. Let me know your thoughts. Also down in the comments, let me know which one you liked the best. Do you think that the the film is, is looking good? What's, what's your opinions? I love film personally, and I think it just gives this nice, aesthetically nostalgic feel. If you agree, let me know. Let's jump with the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Okay, so the hashtag is up to uh, 281,000 posts. We're gonna throw a screen record on and then we're gonna jump into the most recents and we're gonna go from there. So we'll do a little refresh on the most recents, like so. And we'll go with, that's a really cool depthy shot. That's really nice, wow. I love like the old streets throughout Europe. This looks really nice though, really nice shot. Um, 
another really cool shot in Toronto. And then we'll go, ooh, that tram shot's really nice. That's in Boston. Look at, look at that, like, look at the depth. And look out, look at that line down there. That's insane. Wow. Scrolling down, we'll do the next one. Now, this here is, obviously there's no subject in the frame, but the lighting is really cool. And if you just had a shadow on that right-hand side wall, would, that shot would be insane. Great shot though, great, great kind of like uh, creative imagination. There we go, that's the word I was looking for. And let's go with, that's really cool. That's a great shot, wow. I really rate that shot a lot, that's really sick. Um, we'll go with, let's go with, ooh, it's always so difficult like trying to choose shots as you're going through because they're all so good, but like I'm trying to find ones that kind of like, like this here, really simple, but really like that. Great shot. And um, we'll go with, let's do three more. We'll do three more shots and we'll go with this one here, which is a nice street shot, uh, which is in Istanbul, in Turkey. And um, we'll go with... That's a cool shot as well. A nice street shot in, I uh, don't know where that is actually, but it's full of snow, so it's gotta be somewhere snowy. Um, we'll do one more. Last one is, uh, let's just scroll. Quick scroll, quick scroll. And we'll do, that is hectic. Wow, what is that? What's, what is, staircase? That's really cool. Nice shot. If you do want to get uh, featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag OpticalWonder over on Instagram. And uh, I look at it at the end of every video that I upload. Uh, obviously, film is a, is a new entity to me. It's new, it's brand new. Um, I'm just trying to get the grips of focusing and, and measuring light. And I think that's just, it's just part of the process and I'm enjoying the process as it is. And it's given me this kind of like new lease of life when it comes to thinking creatively and learning. It's almost like I'm starting photography again. Even though it's pretty much similar and it's pretty much the same thing, it's it's different. And I think we should always be trying to do things differently. Um, and I've got a bunch of other things that I'm gonna be trying new over the next few months. So if you are interested in what I'm gonna be doing over the next coming months, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I do upload. And with all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.